Okay, so we're going to do meiosis and mitosis GCSE. And I want my class to watch this if you're not here. Okay? Right. Cell division. You exist today because two gametes came together in fertilization to produce a zygote. So that's the posh word for the very first cell produced in fertilization. That cell divided many, many times to become you now. Okay? We've already talked before about how originally the, embry the embryo, which is the beginnings of cell division, which is the ball of cells that comes from the zygote, contained stem cells, but eventually they all differentiated and became the beautiful things that are in front of me now. Okay? This happened because cells divide. Cells divide to allow us to grow and repair. Your hair cells are dividing as we speak. All right? And that division causes your hair to grow. One cell divides to become two, two become four. You need to know the basic theory of cell division. There are two types of cell division. Mitosis, which is for growth and repair, and which produces identical daughter cells to the original parent cells. Now these are important words in vocabulary. The first cell that divides is called the parent cell, and what it produces is called the daughter cells. Okay? So there's vocabulary in this as well. Now, there is another type of cell division that makes gametes. Gametes is the posh word for sex cells, sperm and eggs in humans. Now gametes are different in that they contain half the genetic information of the original parent cell. Okay? So this is a very important difference. Mitosis produces daughter cells that have the same amount of chromosomes as the parent cell. So in our case, if we've got 46 chromosomes and that hair cell divides, it will produce two daughter cells also with 46 chromosomes. Meiosis is different. Meiosis happens in our sex organs, testes, ovaries. And meiosis produces daughter cells that have half the genetic information of the parent cell. So our gametes have 23 chromosomes because the parent cells had 46. So that's the basic introduction. I'm going to have two words for those of you that are really a higher level. Diploid cells are cells produced by mitosis. It means they have a pair of each of the type of chromosomes. They're called homologous chromosomes. Cells produced by meiosis, in general, are haploid. They have half the genetic information. But that's really at the top end. Okay. I'm going to run through the very basics of mitosis and meiosis and you do not really need to recognise these diagrams more what is going on inside the genetic information. Right. This is a cell that contains one, two, three, four chromosomes. I hope you can see that in terms of structure. The single stranded molecules are chromosomes. Okay. The colour difference is trying to represent the chromosomes that came from your mother and the chromosomes that came from your father. We call them maternal and paternal chromosomes. Okay? Now they've not given this a key, but if we call the nice pink ones maternal chromosomes and the green paternal chromosomes, that might help us. Okay? The first thing that happens in cell division is replication of genetic material. I hope you can see that these look like single-stranded chromosomes. They look something like that. Well, the first thing to happen, as I hope you can see here, is that the chromosomes all duplicate. 
And then now they look something like that. This is still one chromosome. But it has just replicated to produce this structure that you almost associate with a chromosome. This is one chromosome made of two chromatids. So in that diagram there, there are still four chromosomes. Not eight like some people write and think. Still four chromosomes, but they are duplicated. They've got two arms or chromatids. Now, what then happens is the chromosomes line up what we call a spindle, and you don't really need these words. And they separate because the cell divides, which means that, and this is the important part for you GCC guys, these daughter cells have one, two, three, four chromosomes, just like the original parent cell. So mitosis produces genetically identical daughter cells in terms of the genetic information they carry, the amount of information. And that's a classic exam question. They will give you an unknown cell and they will say this cell contains 24 chromosomes. How many chromosomes will the daughter cells contain if the cell division was mitosis and your answer would be two 24 at the start how many will each one have at oh, the end 12 24 24 24 good you got there again all right because it's mitosis next and don't forget you can pause and rewind to don't be the word too fast this is Meiosis. This does not produce daughter cells with identical amount of genetic material. This produces daughter cells with half the genetic material. And this is how. It all starts as normal. Like what we've seen before. Four chromosomes. The chromosomes replicate. So we've still got four chromosomes but they have... <laughs> two arms or chromatids we get our first division just like in mitosis but this time the identical pairs of chromosomes split the big key is here in meiosis you get a second division without the chromosomes replicated before division. So if you look here, these two cells have only got two chromosomes. Those chromosomes, or those cells, then split again. So meiosis has two divisions. And what it produces is daughter cells with half, one, two, the number of chromosomes of the original parent cell. And again, the classic exam question looks like this. A cell contains 24 chromosomes. Why am I drawing four cells this time? Because it's had a second division. It's divided, it's divided twice. But the exam question will say, how many chromosomes will be in the daughter cells? To which you will answer... Excellent. So that is cell division. Mitosis, meiosis, and the kind of exam questions you're going to get. Last little bit. This is a diploid cell. <laughs> that is a haploid cell. Half. Stop that. Right, questions. <laughs>